Okay, love. So if you cook a delicious dinner, I'll do the dishes. But your dinners are always delicious. <laughs> okay. Cheerio. Bye. At Ecotopia, we love the idea of cooperative relationships, like clownfish and sea anemones, oxpeckers and rhinos, metcops and fair evaders. Here, again at Ceres Park, probably Melbourne's centre for sustainability, we've found a relationship that's so clever it's got its own name, aquaponics. Aquaponics is a relatively new science. The word is a combination of aquaculture and hydroponics. It's a sustainable food production system using plants and fish. I believe it should be called plish, but I'm no expert. Stephen is. So in essence, you've got fish which produce waste. You've got bacteria which converts that waste to a form that plants can use. And you've got plants which are growing in water. Stephen, what plants do you grow here? In the system here we have mostly leafy greens, so herbs, um, we supply series fair food with coriander, basil, parsley, mint, lettuces, uh, spinach, lightweight herbs, mostly leafy greens. How does aquaponics address the problems with aquaculture? So in the hydroponics industry, and that industry produces uh, much of the vegetable produce that we see in supermarkets, you have to introduce a mined nutrient source. In aquaculture, you have a nutrient waste stream. You combine the two together and you get aquaponics, which is when the waste stream from aquaculture is used for the input for hydroponics. So we have fish at that end. We've got this grow bed here, which is one long trough of water with um, rafts floating on top. And the water is flowing through the grow bed. The plants are uptaking the nutrients, um, floating on rafts, and then the water is pumped through this pipe back to the fish. So here we have some um, fairly healthy looking coriander. Um, so the coriander are growing on top of this raft. Wow! Um, you can see that the roots dangle down into the water and are looking pretty healthy. So the plants are simply floating on water. If they don't grow in soil, what do they grow in? So they germinate in the coconut fibre and then we take a plug which has the seedling and drop that into this net pot. The roots will grow through the net pot and down into the water. So they just sit in suspension in the water. So um, for harvest, yep. we simply pull the lettuce out, pull the roots off, slide the net pot off, which we reuse, put a rubber band around it, and that's your finished product. Beauty. Let us eat. <laughs> it's a balanced ecosystem that needs know-how and attention. But with zero emissions, I think it's pretty cool. And the results? Delicious.